What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your true, of course, the Scarender. And today we're going up against a guy named Call, of course, the Supreme Toad Lord. We have battled a lot before. He always brings very, very unique sets, and therefore, there's another upload with him. Um, this is an Ori match, and we actually share at least Bannet and, and actually Embor going into this game, which was really nice. Uh, he is using Swag. I was gonna say Swaglet, no, uh, Sigilith. Uh, Magneton, Lilligant, and uh, Chinchino. Now, I don't see Chinchino too often, and that is his favorite poke, so I know I can expect some shenanigans with that Pokemon. I myself am using a Choice Banner, Excelgore, yes, the Water Shuriken one, I really want to try one out again. Uh, Banet, Rhyperior, Embo, Seismitoad, and Rotom. Now, Seismitoad is basically there for filler, and uh, like I said, Excelgore is a Bandit set, and I don't see anything in his team naturally outspeeding. So I was thinking I could lead off with that and basically get a feel for what it's gonna do. Uh, now, I will say this. I really like we both use Mega Bandit. At the same time, I really hate that we did that because that is going to kind of whittle our teams down uh, in a fashion that we can't really work way around it. So it's gonna be interesting and I'm gonna do my very best to keep my Bandit around. And this is not the Cotton Guard set. It is the real deal. It's a real freaking Mega Bandit. I never used one really before, so I was really glad to actually construct one of these. And uh, basically, with all this in mind, let's actually see if uh, we can work this out. Let's go. So, like I said there, I'm gonna start with that Aselgor because I know it outspeeds his whole team. Now he will start with Chinchino, and uh, I was feeling, yeah, I could probably dent this really bad with a U-turn, right? He's scarfs. And um, yeah, that that's a thing. Like I did not expect that, but at the same time, that's actually really good. He just, of course, destroy my Selgor, and he's gonna go to his Butterfinger, which is the Bandits, and um, he's gonna frisk my band as I go for the U-turn. Now I will say this: U-turn does respectable amount of damage. I mean, it's still a not effective hit and a crit and all, but it's still a Bandits. I mean, that it gotta take that good. So I go to Ghost Ball. Which I thought was actually Specs. It turns out it's Scarfed. And I'm gonna go, I do believe, for Thunderbolt to go as much damage as possible. Now, this of course starts off something that I should have seen coming. That is the Lilligan, which actually completely walls the Rotom. So I need to get out. And I'm gonna go back to Axel Gorb. I was thinking that a Bandit U turn should kill it. And he's gonna go for the Quaver. Like I said, they really thought he would kind of set up here. There was no reason for him not to do so. And um, I was banking on this U-turn. I really, really, really were. And shit. It survives with like 1 HP. And I decided to go to my own Bannet basically to go for a Shadow Sneak and finish it off. Well, yeah, it's a Chester Berry. And rest. And this is really bad. I can't really deny that fact. I basically right here felt like, oh no. But, at the same time, my Shadow Sneak, since I am fully invested in attack, 165 base attack, mind you guys, I think that should at least do enough damage to break this thing apart. And I don't, I really, really don't. This thing takes this damage super well, and it goes for Giga Drain, easily doing over 50%, and it's back on track, it's full HP. So I was like, oh no, oh no, okay, this, this, I, I need to get out, I need to, I need to run, <laughs> I need to run. And I'm gonna go into Hadar, which of course is my choice, Bandit Embo. And uh, I know I won't take that Giga Drain that well, but I was thinking that at the same time, he probably has Hidden Power Fire, which is something I shouldn't really need to worry about, and I'm gonna force him out. But he stays in, going for that Hidden Power, and um, it's actually Rock. Now it do does it does a lot of damage, but not as much damage as my Flare Blitz does when I kill it. Uh, what I mean by that is that damn, it's it's a price to pay for being reckless and all. Uh, it does so much damage, <laughs> and it really sucks. Of course, uh, he's gonna go to his own Bannet, and I knew he was gonna go for Shadow Sneak, but I didn't really have any switching for this. And it's not like Embor is gonna outspeed anything else on his team. And uh, I was basically you know, not a foddering move, that, oh, that's not the case, but basically that I can't avoid this situation, I just need to accept it and the Hadar is gonna go down. And that felt really awful, I'm not gonna lie there. 
So I got to do Sissel, which of course is my own monstrous bandit. And I am actually faster by one point. I actually did my bandit. Give it some speed EVs basically to uh, outspeed the standard set. And that worked out in my favor if I haven't gone for a fucking Shadow Snake, which I don't. Uh, I went for a um, will o -Wisp thinking that he would actually switch out, knowing that I was faster. But no, and this is this is how these guys are gonna fall against one another. Because obviously they can't really hurt each other outside of their stab moves. And it's gonna showcase his knockoff gonna take me out, and my burn I actually possessed on him previously is gonna take him out. So that is a very, very underwhelming face off against the bandits. And definitely not what I was anticipating, to be honest. I really thought bandits gonna be the star, you know, his team or on my team. So anyway, I'm gonna go to Desotoya. And he's gonna go to Stardust. Now, I did think here, and I don't know why, but I thought that Stealth was a good option. It is not. And I should have just gone for EQ because EQ kills everything in his team. And that didn't cross my mind right there and then. He's got switching Magneton, and of course, I knew that this thing could have either Flash Cannon or Hidden Power Grass. So I'm not gonna say in. I don't wanna, like, force Rhyperior to be in a weakest stance because he has to have to win against the uh, Embor. Uh, so knowing that, I'm gonna go to Ghost Ball basically to far it off. And uh, this really showcases how badly I know how to use a Rotom more, to be honest. Because I don't know how to use it. I just I I might I might have acted strange here. I really should look up how to use Rotom more uh, in this tier, of course, because I felt that my being fully invested in special attack and speed and scarfed is not really that good. And um, <laughs> I was basically saving it for later. Gonna go to Lessard, and I'm actually. Bit speed invested in case off really something were to happen. So I've actually ice have been win to to kind of catch something on the whim. Now I do believe he will stay in. Or actually no, I'm faster because of that speed investment. And I'm gonna go for that earth power. And that's the zone gone. And yeah, that that felt good. Like I should just have done that to the beginning. He's gonna go to Cyrus. And um, now I will showcase the ice wind. I am a salt vessel, of course. So I'm gonna take this Psyche fairly well, and I was really suspecting energy ball, if so, that would be fine, I would have a switching for that later, but it goes to Icy Wind and puts the speed down, which is super important, and now I'm just gonna go for Skull to finish it off, and uh, that's how you depose of a Siglyph, I can't really stress that enough, um, I usually hate Siglyph, but you know, the sweeper one, I can control a bit. Um, so here comes Chinchino, he's gonna go for Tail Slap, of course he's gonna miss that and I go for a Scald and get the burn. That is um, that is how hacks work in this game people, that is exactly how hacks work this game. I felt so bad here because that was really, really, really unnecessary. And of course the Tail Slap due to the crit there will put him in a bad stance, but it also shows me one thing, he is not. Uh, skilling, he is actually a technician. So that's why that didn't kill or go for five hits in a row. So anyway, he'll go to Ganondorf, his own Embor, and I can't do anything here. Uh, while I have the speed investment, so does he. And this Flare Blitz, of course, is not going to be taken lightly to this poor Toad, and he's gonna fall. And that's it right now. I really wanted to try something. I really want to see the damage output on a dam on a banded Exilgor. How much? Does a water cherry can do? How much does that do? And well, people, not a whole lot. Definitely not a whole lot. And consider that I only strike two hits, Excelsior is gonna really fall here. I really thought that you know. All right, let's do this. This this is what he trained for. And no, this is so so unfortunate. Excelsior is gonna fall there. And. Um, Alright, we're down to our last Pokemon, and Desultroya can really, really take on Amber now that I know that he's locked into Theoblitz. And had he had Superpower, he would still not be able to take me out. So that is a good game, Supreme Total Lord. And, well, I really hope you guys, of course, appreciate this battle. It was, like I said, um, a very strange one because it's it doesn't seem like it's a close game, but at the same time, I do win only 1-0. Um, a lot of things didn't really work for me this battle because his Ligand actually took me really really off guard 
with the chest rest though, and uh, yeah, that thing got, became a killer. It really did this battle, and I think my opponent played that really well. And of course, our Bannis was not really the highlight of this battle, which I really thought it could be. Uh, but we're gonna try this, uh, this team out one more time with Bannis. Like I said, I really want to use Bannis in ways I haven't tried before. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty much a standard set, but it's something I, I never myself used before. And being that that set is probably two years old now, it's probably about time. Um, but yeah, I think that will do it. I really hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed this game. And if you do, make sure to leave your set a like to this battle. And of course, if you're new to the channel, feel to subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, I hope. So until then, guys, take care. Bye.